I am definitely going to wear this headband on the days I'm too lazy to wash my hair. So I've been on a granny roll lately and I just can't stop, won't stop. So I might as well guide you step by step how to make this headband. It's a super fast and easy project. And it covers greasy hair. If you wear it like this. Or maybe like this. So let me show you guys the materials that you'll need for the granny headband. First and foremost, a handy dandy 3mm crochet hook. The yarn I'm going to be using is this worsted wig 4 yarn in grey and mustard yellow colors. And lastly, you'll need darning needle and scissors. Ok, let's crochet! For your future headband, you'll need 3 of these flower granny squares. If you're wondering how to make these granny squares, I've got a tutorial right up on my channel. You can click in the info card, and I'll also leave a link in the description down below. You can make 3 similar squares, or make 2 and 1 different. To start joining the granny squares, I'm going to take my grey yarn and make a slip knot. I'm wrapping around my forefinger, and then pulling under and then over and taking it out, and here I've made my slip knot. Now I'm going to find the chain space in the corner of my squares. So here on the corner we can see one treble, one chain and one treble. I'm going to insert my hook into this chain space, just like that. And on this square you can see one treble, chain and one treble. I'm going to insert my hook into this chain. And now I'm going to take my working yarn and put it underneath my work just like that. And now I'm going to take this yarn and pull through all of the loops. And now we're going to find the next treble. Here it is. We're going to insert into that space right here. And then here you can see the treble. So take your yarn and pull through all of the loops. Now let's find the next stitch, here it is, insert your hook and here on this side you can see the next stitch right here and take your yarn and pull through everything. And here's the next one, insert your hook and find on this side, take your yarn and pull through all of the loops. Try to make the slip stitches loosely, so here let's make another one. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that since I'm using the grey yarn, that's why I'm inserting my hook into the grey granny square first. Now keep working on your slip stitches and I will meet you in the end of the row. I've already joined my trebles right here and now the last slip stitch that I'm going to make is between the two chains. So here's the treble and here's the chain stitch. So I'm starting my hook like this and as you can see here's the treble and here's the chain. Just insert your hook like this and pull through everything. Now make chain 1 and cut off the yarn. Fasten it and that's how your joined two granny squares should look like. And now you're going to join these two granny squares exactly like I've shown you here. Now we're going to make triangles on both sides of our headband. Make your slip knot. Now take your square and you can see here's one treble, chain and one treble. You're going to insert your hook into this treble. Right here and then take your yarn. Now we have two loops. Make a single crochet. Pull through two. I'm going to hide my short end tail behind my work and start making the next single crochet. Here's the next stitch. Take out and pull through two. And then the next stitch, just make a single crochet row. So in the corner right here you can see one treble, chain and one treble. And the last single crochet that I'm going to make is into this treble. So make your single crochet and then chain one and turn your work. Now you're going to skip this stitch and make a single crochet into this one. And just keep working your single crochet row. You can see here are the last two stitches. 
here's the first one and the second I'm going to make into this stitch my last single crochet and in the end of my second row I should have 11 single crochets now make chain 1 and turn your work and after turning you're going to skip this, this and insert your hook into this stitch so insert your hook and make a single crochet and keep working your third row I've made in total 8 single crochets on my third row and here's the last stitch I'm going to make my ninth single crochet and I'm going to chain 1 and turn my work and repeat the same thing I'm going to count 1, 2, 3 and make into that stitch a single crochet so that's how you're going to start your fourth row in the end of fourth row we should have seven single crochets I've already made six and here's my last seventh and then chain one and turn your work and now on this row you're going to count one two three and insert your hook into that stitch and keep working your single crochet row in the end of our fifth row we should have five single crochets I've already made four and here's my fifth now chain one and turn your work now we're going to count the same thing one two three and insert your hook and make your sixth single crochet row and in the end of your sixth row you should have three single crochets I've already made mine chain one turn your work one two three make your last single crochet and then chain one and cut off your yarn here's our finished triangle corner and now make a similar triangle on this side and now we're ready to make the border and the straps for our headband first make your slip knot and then here in the corner you can see the last single crochet that you've made we're going to insert our hook into that stitch and make a single crochet and we're going to hide both of these short end tails behind our work and just keep working your single crochet border just like that and then find the next stitch and then here's the next one and here's how our border looks like so far and now we're going to just make a single crochet into every stitch of our square You can see that on the places that we've joined our granny squares, there's a high difference in comparison with the rest of the stitches. That's why we're going to make different stitches into each of these areas. So here in the corner you can see one treble, chain and one treble. We're going to yarn over and make into that treble one half double crochet. And then into the chain stitch we're also making one half double crochet. So yarn over take out your yarn and pull through three now we're going to make a double crochet into this stitch right here so yarn over take out your yarn pull through two pull through two and then on this side we're also going to make a half double crochet into the chain stitch and a half double crochet into the treble so yarn over make one half double crochet and then another one and from now on just continue making your single crochets and that's how this part of the border looks like from this point keep working your single crochets and then here make your half double crochets into the treble and the chain stitch and make your double crochet into the slip stitch and then repeat the same thing here and then keep working your single crochets all the way through this point Okay you guys, so I've made it to this point and now we're going to make this stripe for our headband while working our border. This method is so convenient, you would not have to weave in your ends, you'll hide it behind your work while making your border and I think you're gonna love it as much as I do. So now let's continue making our single crochets and here's the highest stitch. I'm going to make also one single crochet and now I'm going to make a chain of 55 just like that two three four and continue making your chain of 55 and it is actually optional you can make more number of chains 
but I recommend from 55 to 60. So I've made a chain of 55 and now we're going to make slip stitches through the back loop. So on this side we have these V stitches and on this side we can see these little bumps. And we're going to insert our hook into this bump right here and make a slip stitch. So we're skipping the first one and inserting our hook into this one and pull through all two. And now let's find another bump right here. Take your yarn and just pull through both of the loops. So you can see this is how we make our slip stitches through the back loop. And this is how our strap looks like so far. From now on keep working your slip stitches all the way through this point. So I've made it to this point where I've got two back loops left and I'm also going to make the slip stitches into these back loops. Here's the last stitch. And I'm going to make into this stitch right here one single crochet. And you can see this short end tail, I'm also going to hide it and continue making my border with single crochets. And this is how our straps looks like attached. What do you think? <laughs> I think in this case it is the most convenient way to make the border and the straps at the same time. So from now on just continue making your single crochets and don't forget to hide your short end tail behind your work so you do not have to weave in your ends after finishing it. And you're just going to make your regular single crochets until these two points where you're going to even out the height difference by making your half double crochets and double crochets. If you forgot how to do it, just rewatch the video where we've made here and keep working until this point and I'll meet you here. Okay, so I'm currently at this point and here's the beginning of my border. I'm going to make my single crochets until that point. Now I'm going to make my chain of 55. One, two, three. And when you've made your chain of 55, make your slip stitches through the back loop and try to make them loosely. Just like that. Okay, so I've almost finished my strap and this is my last stitch. I'm going to make my final slip stitch and I'm going to show you guys the prettiest way to finish your work. Now, of course, you can make a slip stitch into your first single crochet and then chain one and cut off your yarn. And that's totally cool too. But we're going to make an extra step. So now after making your last slip stitch, we're going to cut off the yarn. Just leave a little distance. And then we're going to take out this yarn. Take your darning needle. And we're going to find the first single crochet that we've made in our border and we're going to insert our needle just like that. And then insert your needle into this loop right here. So from this side you can see we've imitated that V-stitch. And now on the back of our work we're going to insert our needle like that, twist it, and now just hide your end tail. And cut off the yarn. And now we're ready to wear our headband. 